and we appear to be live right now. So let's tidy up my inventory a little bit. Alright. Checking recording levels. Okay, I heard something there. We can mute that. back to channel so we can monitor chat we'll just mute that as well as extra insurance uh, just a moment just a few technical things to deal with but just while we're in this prelude, uh, you can see behind me I've started growing some vines, which I am hoping to use into, well, integrate into the build behind me, the wizard tower. Because I think, yes, I have used basically just stone bricks to make the castle, so I think let's add a little bit of building detail with mossy stone bricks to add a bit of age here and there on both the castle and the wizard tower. I think it would be very nice. So I'm basically just have a bit of uh, vineage here that I'm just growing out and collecting gradually. So far we've managed to get 58 from what we have farmed here. But we're going to get on with the building and uh, doing some you may notice Uh, we'll hang on to the vines for now. Uh, we'll drop a stack of torches as well. A bit more you, more stairs, more slabs. Yeah, I think that should do. So for the most part, I do want to work on the, the shell itself. Get that all done. So that's how it looks overall. Likewise. Bad scaffolding. It's supposed to be here. That'll do. Yeah, overall this looks pretty good. I suppose for here we'll be using solid blocks. Oh, thank goodness we're in peaceful and that I got fever falling. <laughs> that could have been very unpleasant. Actually, I do have a Yeah. I need to slab, 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 and yeah, that's gonna look real nice. And I'll just repeat that there as well.
I see, oh, do I? I see, I think I do like it just being a solid wall. I see, nah, nah, nah. Now nah, we'll do stairs there as well. Just adds a little bit to the build. I can do that right here to kind of fill in this ceiling bit. So it's like if it was upside down, it would be its very own floor, which I feel is very neat. Alright, I can destroy the scaffolding as well. We don't need this anymore. And we don't need these temporary blocks here anymore. Because we can quite easily start working on the wall here. I don't really see... Actually, I'm not really sure how high I want to make that wall. It's a good question. I don't have an answer for that. Hmm. Now, as I probably said in a uh, earlier stream, this is uh, basically the top floor. So I'm seeing that this is where the wizard or wizards will live, at the top of the tower. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should be out of range of any villages. So, at least any specific villages. But I suppose if it's not, it's probably going to be fine. I don't really see a villager making the journey up this way. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a few of these blocks. Let's fill in this wall here. Like I saw. And we go down again. Like I saw. And those of you who have uh, who are paying attention or have been paying attention you will notice that I have torched up the place so it looks really nice now all lit up and such which of course is going to be temporary lighting until we get our lanterns in because that is going to be our main source of light here whether they're hanging off um, uh, fence fence posts or whether they're just hanging from the ceiling itself I feel it's a really nice choice in lighting especially for something that's still a bit castly Alright, that's nearly our base wall done. I think we'll work on this wall next. Now I'll admit building this has been a bit of a whim, but I thought it would be a really good aesthetic choice to go alongside the castle. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong about that. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna work on this portion of the the camp the the tower wallage. Then we shall work on the doorway itself right here. I will admit this is a bit tedious and repetitive, maybe not very viewable content, <laughs> but it is something that must be done. Oh, we had enough for that. Neat. Alright, so. Mm, the question is how do we want to approach this? Because, in a way, this will also play into this. So, I think for now, we'll build. We'll leave a free block gap for now. And we'll build up from there. Two more scaffolding. There we go. And I should just proceed to fill in the gap. Alright, and that does the basic wall for up here. And of course, we're not up here. I want to build up the walls four high. And then a fifth one, which will serve as the basis for the ceiling. And then the roof. And I don't think I have enough bricks on me right now, but then again, maybe we do, maybe we do. And at the very least, we can give it a go. So let's see, we have two, three, four. So let's come up here and we'll do this. And we'll just proceed to go around and bring everything up to this level. Because we. <laughs> okay, we pick that up. We will, for the time being, build up four high. Now, I haven't put in any windows at the moment because, well, I need to decide where I want these windows to be. Once I know where they are, I can do the interior decorating to my heart's content. <laughs> Although this goes pretty quickly. Alright, this is looking really good. Now I am thinking that I do want a kind of colourful roof. Now 
Now I've got a few choices at the time, at this moment. Those being, of course, like a never brick, red never brick. Prismarine, dark prismarine, basically green, red, maybe even black. We could use black stone. That's if I could easily get, since I haven't found any uh, ocean monuments. Alright, that gets us to the height I intended. For the time being, we'll put some scaffolding down so we can get back up there. Uh, one more. There we go. Break you. Alright, so we've got a nice sizable area here for our room. I do want to put a bit of steerage here as well. That is the wrong block. How would this look? Uh, I feel that comes a bit too close. Yeah. So I'm going to knock these three out, and in their place we'll put the stairs there. Yeah, that gives it a nice feel, and we can put the other wall here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And underneath we'll slab the whole thing, so we have a nice flat surface to put some lanterns on. I like it. I like it. Alright, uh, we don't need you anymore, so we knock you down. Nom. Uh, still unsure if I want to build this wall up or what. Now another uncertainty is how far down I want that to go as well. Uh, for now, I want to go get that block we knocked over. Uh, it'd be easy if we go this way and around, and it should be. I see. No, I think we actually did grab that. Yeah, we did. Now another thing I want to thi really think seriously about is what I want the floor to be made out of. Because I don't want to use stone brick. Not for this floor. Now I want to use something a bit more special. And one of the special variants of the blocks like the uh... Well not, not, not stone as we see here. Maybe like polished diorite, polished andesite, polished granite. Maybe even a, another stone variant. Also, this bothers me. We don't need this here. And you also bother me. But we'll use our silk touch so we can get you intact. Alright, I think next we're going to work on this little downward room here. Now I 
think how we're going to go about it is like this, because we can't play scaffolding on stairs. Like, you try and they disengage. So, we're going to do this. Oh, that gets us right there. Alright, so... Ye Okay, we might need an extra block here. There we go. Alright, and we are here. So let's go... Build ourselves a little bit of scaffolding here. Actually, I, f yeah, I feel that this is the level that we want to be at. So, uh, we want to put you away, and we're going to want these. So, this is basically what we're going to be doing. Now, I might as well start by trying to get a floor going, so let's scaffold out a bit. Okay, that's going to be difficult, so let's just spam the scaffolding. There we go. Bring this out like so. and we'll just fill this out as a floor because I feel that's a pretty good space there now it will mean that it will end round about here but that's fine, that's fine this is essentially going to be a storage room for like potion ingredients and such or at least that's what I'm envisioning let's jump up here now we do also want some upside down stairs here as well. So stair, 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 stair. Hmm. Actually I don't like having that like that so yeah we might move that wall out a bit as well. So stair, stair, We'll collect those in a little bit. And yet, that will probably lead right into a wall right about there. Does that look right? As you know, here. don't need you so block 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 but it also means that we can work with this space as well so that's the limit of that space there means that we can bring this out like so mm, I know I said I liked it being at that level but I see a slight change in plans for this area we might do another downward staircase yeah yeah we can have another store access here
yeah I like the sound of that so let's slab this line up and I might also destroy this line of slabs as well and let's see how this will look in building of the wall like obviously I need to slab this space here slab there Let's see how this looks overall. Uh, not too bad. go back up and we need to be a bit higher okay that should do no that is the wrong way We might knock down our scaffolding first because it doesn't really serve much purpose up there right now. Let's get back up there and do a little bit of under slabbing. Yeah, now we should be able to place our stairs like so. Now we shall place some temporary blocks under here. So we may, we may build our staircase going down. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see how that looks from up there. So we come down here, we have this here. Yeah, that might be another one that we cut out. Yeah, that actually feels a lot better. And it comes down here, like so. And then we have all this space to work with as well. Yeah, 
like if I bring that down yeah I do need to kind of contend with the fact that there is a bit of a bit of a safety hazard here then again this kind of thing could be not that bad because it's not that big of a jump uh, maybe I make it a two wide staircase instead yeah th that could work for us as well yeah that could be the way to go Yeah. Ah, uh, we don't need the scaffolding here for the moment. We can knock that down and eat it all up. And we'll just place down some temporary floor blocks here. And we'll come over here and place down our actual flooring. Now I should build this down, which is basically just serving as a wall itself. Plus, we do need a wall here as well. So, might as well slab up this portion and just proceed to wall this as well. can knock these out oh, and we fell <laughs> that's fine that's fine. Right, and we got a little bit way to get back up here. It actually doesn't look too bad. Let's knock at these stairs. Oops. That was the wrong thing to knock out. But I guess there's a nice little wall there. Let's get this floor into place.
Alright, and we got a nice bit of room under here as well. So let's build out this floor. Alright, for the most part, this is just about done. Do you need to build a bit of a wall of right here? Fill in that little gap there. Yeah, we might actually block all of that as well. Now that is basically going to be the roof. Which actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be too high. Yeah, I feel I want this to be lower. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I want this to be a lot lower. Like I got. What see, do I? Uh, actually, no, no. We'll work with this. I see now we definitely want low because it looks like four blocks, but it's not four blocks. Yeah, we want to go down one more level. Which means we're going to need another stair. Right here. Uh, so I'm basically going to have to rebuild all that again or well, at least we know where we want this so I'm going to build up like so that should give me plenty of clearance and I'm just going to start slabbing down here because we can just mine that top area and clear that out down we come move the scaffolding This should do.
I'm pretty sure this is at least three wide. But it's of little importance right now because we can easily fill it out later. I think I can start destroying what there is of that floor. Uh, can I... No, I can't. I can't fit through there. <laughs> That's alright. We'll just come through here. And we'll just start digging this out. Reclaiming our blocks. Overall, this, uh, this works out very nicely. Alright. Yeah, and that also gives us access to this area as well since we're down a little bit further as well. This, actually I think this will be the actual storeroom for like the ingredients. And this would be actually used as like the alchemy lab for the server. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put a wall there. I'm just gonna fill that in with solid blocks and you do not go there block. Okay, I'm gonna need to do that. Alright, let's proceed to fill this in, at least from this side. And that should actually look pretty good like that. We'll just continue building this out like so. And I might actually make this the limit of what this room... Ugh, excuse me. Will turn out to be. So I might as well just fill this in. And I'm pretty sure I can also do this as well. Just fill in a wall right here. And that actually does feel pretty good. Just a little bit of ceiling filling there. Oops, one too many blocks. Now I also need to fill this in. Which does mean we do need some lighting here. So let's put down some temporary lighting. We do also need to finish up this area as well. Uh, we don't really need a block there. And yeah, this I feel we're just going to fill in with solids. So 
So we'll just put some solid blocks there. But we will make use of this space for our purposes. However, I like this. I like this. Uh, we do have a few blocks we do need to knock out here as well. Oh, maybe not quite so much that one. That one needs to be there. As you know, that needs to be a... S uh, we need to check that. Yeah, that can be a solid block. Yeah, I see that can be an upside down stair. Under there. Yeah, that makes for good f filling there. So that gives us some options down there. Some very nice options. Alright, now what about here? Yeah, I do like being like that. So we might wall that off, and I'm out of solid blocks. That's alright. We can fill this in. Ah, uh, not, not there. Yeah, we can do that. Those. Right, uh, we need to go down, which is not that way. And no, no, we want to go this way. <laughs> I've kind of created a bit of a maze here. What? So, this is a construction site. Please vacate. Okay, that should be enough for now. Let's go back up and get back to block placement. So we need you there. You there. You, you, you. Place, 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 place. And it also means that we do need a wall here as well. Put down a bit, little bit of slabbage there. Flesh out these walls. Alright, this wall here is done. I like it. I like it. Of course, we still need to do it up there as well. 
But about this is coming together nicely. That should not have gone there. Uh, I don't know if I like that fully. Uh, maybe we can have this as like a one block high. Kind of like a observation balcony of sorts. Hmm, I think I do like that concept. We'll run with it for now. I don't know if I'll commit to that or not. We'll see. Now we do need to continue this kind of uh, work down this way. Yeah, I might leave this bit open. That uh, doesn't look as uh, pretty. I'm uh, not really sure what I can do with this area. And I will need to do with that villagers. Soonish. Yeah, the more I walk around here, the more I like what I've done. So, now it's time to actually start thinking about what I want to do about up here. Well, for one, we should definitely build up these walls a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with this. This is mostly just on the fly. We'll put a little bit of scaffolding down as well. Just so we can get up there if we need to. And, hmm. I'm probably just about ready to start with the next stage, which is getting a ceiling in here, getting the roof on. Speaking of which, I should build a scaffold tower outside as well. And I suppose I could do that right here. Because it'd be easier this way. Yeah, that is way overboard, but that's fine. That's fine. Now we might come over here and do a bit of a redecorating here, because we have this wall coming up from this tower, and I don't really think I want that. Where did these chickens come from? Ah, problems for later. 
See, anyway, I want to do something about this. Uh, I can't exactly do like a actual doorway here or whatever. Like, I'm running with two ideas at this time. Actually, I think I do have a solution here. Yeah, I'll have this as like an open area. But we'll make this an enclosed space. Yeah, I, f I think I like the sound of that. So that means I am definitely going to need to mine this out. And these areas will need to be filled in. Alright, we go up. And I should have plenty work on both sides if possible All right that's as far as our reach will go So I do need to make this come out to basically equal here. Yeah, I think that we keep that roof level there as well. So we can fill in this area with these. So now, we'll add in some slabbing for the upper ceiling. This is to prevent mob spawns from on top of the castle. So I will need to like so. And it'll happen just like this. In this fashion pattern. So we'll go a few blocks. And slab it. We did kind of make a bit of a mistake there falling down, but that's fine. We'll recover. Uh, 
and this is basically where we want it to come out to that's perfect Uh, I probably am going to need to go on a bit of a slab of run. But for the most part, looks like we can get most of this done. And I'm out. Right, let's try doing this. Oh yes, I like that. I like that. I think I can repeat that over here as well. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. That should also prevent any mob spawns. I uh, just want to, yep, that was slabs or a slab. Alright, we better go get some more. Oh, well, this build is going very well. We should have a few yes. Uh, yeah, and a few more in here as well. Should be more than enough to finish this, that portion of the job. I just need to do the finishing touches in here. So let's slab all of this to make these full slabs. We do have enough to finish this. If not, we can easily make more because we have the resources to do so. Uh, we are still getting a snow effect through here. And also still through here. Might be a little bit glitched. Could need to tear it out. Now for the moment it is a bit of a dreary pathway. We'll just light up a little bit more of temporary lighting. Grab our scaffolding. Uh, 
And so far I do like what we we have going here. Yeah, lowering that does add a nice feel to it. And I do seriously doubt that we will have any mob spawns here. Especially since we do plan on lighting this effectively and efficiently. Now I wonder, do we have enough of these to do this kind of thing here? Uh, we've actually got a good pattern going on and I think we will repeat this here. I do like the look of that. Yes. Kind of makes me wish this could be moved a block over more, but... Oh well. And we want to do this as well. Just to ensure that we don't get mob spawns here. Because there's nothing worse than finding a creeper or a zombie, especially a creeper, in the, in the build you spent hours building and to just lose it like that. Now I could also do this with the floor as well. But I want to hold off that for now. Alright, that's done and we have 25 slabs to spare. Let's pop down and get those blocks that fell. Any four down there doesn't look like it. Ah, looks like we have a good crop of vines to harvest soon. Yes, yeah, some of these have grown really nicely while we've been building our tower. Which, even though it doesn't really look that intimidating and epic, I still think it looks great. We do still need to get the roof on, but it is a work in progress. <laughs> uh, we did not mean to do that, and I'm glad I did not fall to my potential doom. Alright, there's definitely a few interior details for the block palette we want to work on here namely the ground floor underneath the stairs and such hmm actually I think these I could turn into upside down stairs as well and that should look nice let's see how that looks oh yeah that actually looks so much better Yes. 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 Oh, 
my range Okay, that must be the limit of where that can go. Yeah, I'll just replace those with slabs. You know, that's really left is to work out these details. <laughs> I'm getting lost in my own build. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I might also repeat that with this as well. To kind of pretty it up a bit. Yeah. I could do that. And uh, that's actually not too bad. Right, I think we should start working on the floor. So, what do we think would work best? Hmm. Actually, I think... Yeah, we might just do a bit of a pillar here. Like that. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. Yeah, I like the look of that. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. Knock that block out. And we managed to get that one too. Yeah, this build is really coming together, piece by piece. I think that does actually work. Yeah. Now I better go get the block that I knocked out. Was it there? Oh, I'm. Unless it was. I must have gotten it. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do like what we have got going here. Very nice effects. So we've done that one like that. Haven't really done that here. Alright, that's our slab. Which will be a full block. So we could do this here. Giving us this very nice effect here. And leaving us in need of more. Yeah, we might just uh, go through and slab all of these places that need slabbing. But I, I like the innovation I've gone here, trying to maximize the space here. And we do still have a uh, pretty sizable room here, but this can be like the grand hallway place. Oh, I still have an extra one. Okay. Alright, let's get a few stacks. I will put away some of this stuff that we don't really need too much. And we shall go make ourselves some sl For now, I'm gonna let this uh, moss grow and spread all right let's make quite a few slabs here okay that should do yeah this should keep us well slabbed for now Was that a plane in Minecraft? Question mark. <laughs> kind of makes me figure the uh, flying machine Mumbo made for Iskal, which ironically was shaped like a plane. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, Hermitcraft builds. Speaking of Hermitcraft, let's take a moment to talk about Isco's new uh, game, which is basically. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what you would exactly say it would be. I'm thinking a double in tundra, but I don't think that's the correct terminology. But basically, it's his way of getting leaves, which he's made into an actual game, inspired by Zombie Cleo's head games, where he's built himself a redstone robot, not too un unlike Grumbot, but instead of asking questions, its job is to basically just acquire. leaves and I really need some stairs there oh well Alright, this is looking good. Slabbing a lot of this is going to prove difficult because of the height of the ceiling in most places. 
and with some areas being a bit low leveled. Yeah, getting back to Isco's hedge games, where he needs like a million leaves. It's going to be really uh, interesting to see how that develops. What teams will be made. And also the biggest question probably on Hermitcraft. Will the Doctor, Doc M77, return from the Gardens of Doom? Well, that's what Iska would call them. The Gardens of Doom. <laughs> I would believe that he would call them that. <laughs> like that's something Isco should build. A garden of doom. Ah, oh, that's as far as I can reach. Oh, I still need to slab all that area. <laughs> mm. Well, I suppose I might as well... Get back to it. And since we are getting to this slabbing, we can then also get to our actual lighting. Yeah, and we're going to leave patches of scaffolding here and there. Just so we have easy access to the roof, and this I feel is a bit high. Yeah, that should do nicely. Gives us a good general access to this area, so that we can finish our slabbing job here, and come back later to do our lighting. which in most cases will be purely cosmetic and such and I do also think that we do need a wall here although we might we might be able to substitute that for something else Bop. Mm, I was kind of thinking maybe we could fit a thing in here. But I'm pretty sure I need a gap of five for enchantment setup. We just don't have that kind of gapage there. Uh, is that all slapped? Maybe not. Yeah, I don't think it is. So now I believe that is. Yeah. And that just makes it look nice there. Nice clean look, because if it was upside down, we'd be walking on that. But then it wouldn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's do as much of this as we possibly can.
Ah, uh, one more. Uh, can I reach up there? Yes, I can. We can do this pretty easily. And since this is underside, right under here, we can probably use thick blocks here. Because nothing's going to really spawn under there like that. Let's see about the rest of this slabbing job. Alright, we can put a block there. I'll figure out something for there. Yeah, we'll just fill this in with blocks, like I so, saw, to make this our definitive ceiling. Uh, we do have a few gaps there to fill in. Shouldn't need to come up too far. Yeah, that looks all done there. We just have this little bit here. This will do. Yeah. Alright, uh, I do need to get some stairs for some of this bit. 
this stack should be plenty so let's make this look all pretty yeah that looks nice there and it was a bit up here that we needed it for as well right here if I recall yes yes So I think other than this, the final ceiling and the rest of the, uh, the roof is the actual lighting and the interior decorating. Alright, so let's pop down here. Let's get rid of all of the scaffolding that we don't need from the bottom. <laughs> oh yes, of course, the, uh, the floor as well. Because we need to come up with what we want to use as floor. As you thinking about it, I think I might go for a bit of a dark floor here. Yeah. We might go for black sense, so I'll need to check my uh, recovered resources stockpiles. But other, other than that, we might be going to the Nether as well to mine some blackstone. Now we do also need to organize where there's going to be some windows and such. But I think for the time being we might plant some lanterns in. Just in like nice little strategic places. Like a lantern there. And let's put a lantern there as well. We fell in a hole. It's okay. Now we're mainly just going to put them on the ceiling portions. Uh, we'll focus on the low lying areas first. So we'll put a lantern about here. Yeah, that looks good. Take out that torch. Take out this torch. And we'll pop another lantern here. Now, the light could be a little bit far up for what we need. So the answer is use more lanterns. So let's place one here. Yeah, we will need a lantern along here as well. Alright, let's place a lantern here. I see maybe here actually. Yeah. Lantern there. Which will light up this area very nicely. Yeah, I like that. I like that. A lantern here and another one over here. Oh, 
Okay, that was two slabs there. So I do need to slab this area. One slightly missed slabbing job, but that's okay. See, let's go for like a bit of an up, upside down stair bit here. And can we get that corner piece? Yes, we can. Oh, I do like that. Now we can get that there, and we'll get one in. I feel that's a bit close. Yeah. And we might have to... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Place it right there. Now, we don't actually have the luxury of room over here. So it'll have to hang in a corner and such. Let's see, what if we do this? And this? Oh yes, that's good, that's good, that's good. Grab our torches. And just an additional one there. Alright, we're going to come up here and put down a few strategic lanterns. Like so, and that should look good. Now those are basically for aesthetic purposes. But overall it's not too bad. Good start to our lighting up of the place. Now let's just have a look at our crafting menu. At all the different block types we could use. So I, I'm not feeling a wood. So let's come down. There's our polished blackstone bricks. Actually, I do like the look of that. Yeah, we might run that as our floor. I'll need to get some before we can actually use it, but I think for now, we can go ahead and mine out this floor. So I think for now, we're going to put away all of our gear. and we will proceed to mine out this floor. Alright, so we'll start off our fortune pick to mine out our non-essential stuff. To so grab andesite. I'm not going to worry too much about the stuff that's already covered by build stuff.
also like that dirt and stone and andesite that's under the stairs here. We're gonna leave that because no one's gonna see that. It doesn't matter. Really sure about the entrance area but we'll, we'll eat up those bricks as well or should I say blocks Even though I said I wasn't going to grab some of these, I am definitely going to grab the coal. And I'm going to want to grab the rest of that too. Alright, there's my shovel. We also want to get torches back out. So we can relight this place up on a temporary basis. Yeah, it's okay if I overextend. It's fine. Yeah, it looks like we have two bits there. So let's grab those. Ooh, this does run a bit deep. And we will just fill up the space like a so. I think for reasons I might fill that in with actual bricks. So let's grab these and we'll just fill that in like a so. Gonna like lay a little bit of foundation blockage and we'll repeat that over here as well. Just because we can. Actually, we might. Yeah, yeah, we'll use stone bricks for the actual doorway underneath. Now, I do also need to dig out all of this grass in front and around the tower all these up to a point because it is still technically part of this mountain we do need to do a little bit of change with this bridge as well but yeah now it's time to go see what we can do about our blackstone situation So let's go check the shulker box we took into the Nebba the other day, a few weeks ago, and see how much blackstone we have to work with. So it was this box, and we have this much blackstone. Uh, let's see, uh, switch back to this, and we can get polished black stone how do I get to the brick maybe I need a stone cutter I'm not sure Let, let's say uh, let's try this out without resorting to the wiki so let's head down to the village Past the grindstones. 
to the stone cutter and let's see here does this tell me what it is okay it does all right let's see here okay that's polished bricks we want ordinary bricks that's polished blackstone that's chiseled polished blackstone how do I get the brick? okay we're gonna need to actually look at the wiki so we're gonna have I'm gonna have to do that off stream but I believe one thing's for certain 55 is not gonna be enough unless I find an actual bastion to mine for its blocks I'm gonna need to craft these up myself and I'm not sure how but we're gonna find out soon enough so we're gonna come down to our shulker box here and we're just gonna deposit this for now uh, we'll deposit these as well and we'll have to get back to that another time so I think for now and for the time being we're gonna leave one dirt down there well, we, we could have used scaffolding too so we do need to think about our roof situation as well now I do want to use a block that can be stared so let's actually go back into our thing I'm actually trying to do something else right now uh, what's this ah tippy tippy oh and I'm pushing the wrong thing again ah that'll do okay let's go into our craftables and we want to look at our stair choices so we've got our wood variations the cobblestone the stone stairs more wood stone brick we want something that looks really nice so we could go with sandstone for a nice yellow or red sandstone for a nice red I'm not really feeling that too much uh, polished granite doesn't look too bad we could go for also a polished area but uh, I don't know about that uh, polished andesite might blend in too much brick no possibly never or red never brick stairs the, the never perfer stairs would probably would look really good but we haven't exactly gone to the end as of yet the blackstone might also look pretty good but I don't think it feels the right way hmm Mm, the prismarine stuff doesn't look too bad but I think I might be leaning toward the crimson stairs like I need a little bit of reminding as to what I did with uh, over there yeah we used the, uh, those ones there Actually, what if we use the um the green one? The warp stairs. Actually, I think that's a good idea. I think that's a really good idea. Now, I will be needing to make a ceiling in here as well. You know, I think we might actually go for like a a crimson slab. 
one. Okay, we're going to integrate never materials into this, and we know what we want, so we're going to spend the next few minutes gathering those up. And yeah, let's, uh, well, yeah. Uh, we'll keep the scaffolding on us. Alright, let's go. Now, thankfully, we do have a farm to help us get all this wood. And we have a farm to help us ensure that we can keep getting this wood. Uh, do we have any in here? We have the mycelium, but we don't seem to have any of the actual wood. Okay, that's fine. That's that just means we're gonna have to go wood chopping. Actually, I think I do have some of this stuff around here. Uh, let's see. Nilium. Uh, never brick blocks. Oh, yeah, some warp planks. Some warp stem. Ah, uh, we don't want crimson stair but we do want crimson slabs so we need these okay well we can get our slabs uh, let's turn this back to what we can craft so we'll see if that's going to be enough slabage that we need Now, personally, I'm hoping that this is going to look really good. So we're going to do the slabbing first. And yes, I know, once again, it is kind of a tedious process, but it is a necessary one. Oh, I think I am feeling it. For now, I'm going to reserve my full judgment until I see this ceiling in full, or at least 90% of its full capacity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did say ceiling. If not, eh. Yeah, I may need a few more, and we did place that one by accident, but that's okay. If we are keeping it, then that's fine. Yeah, I think I'm definitely am going to need a lot more. Because I haven't even finished one layer yet. 
and we're clearly short. Oh, hang on, I still got another stack. I may have spoken too soon, but more will definitely be needed if this is the direction we want to go with this. Uh, thank you for that suggestion, XF Patna1065. But I would appreciate you not advertising in my chat, good sir. Plus, I find your offer suspicious. I'm too clever to fall for that. And that's another misplaced lab, but that's okay. That's okay. We can deal with that. We're basically out of slabs now, but overall, uh, I'm, I, I like it. I like it. We should still have one, two, three, four blocks of space, so we've got plenty of jumping room. We've got room for our lanterns up on the ceiling. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Can I? No, I can't. Well, I can make p the planks, which we're going to need those, and that's basically all we can get for now. But yeah, overall, this is looking pretty good. I like what we've done. This is going in a very good direction. Now we're just going to come into the castle like so, which is our recently done tunnel there. Pass the chickens we're going to take care of later. To come to my crafting bench to make a few more of these slabs. Yeah, I'll just turn all of these into slabs. If we have more than we need, so be it. We can save those for a future project because working with the new Never stuff. And we go up again. Alright, we should be able to easily fill this out and see how this looks when it's fully filled in. with the exception of of that one block and even coming up to here it doesn't look too bad I do like the way it looks it gives us a nice solid flat roof to work on And I'm probably going to use quite a lot of fill blocks as well. And this is really going to pop up. Yeah, I do like how this is going. And we, we probably will save that for later. 
But alas, it is time for the stream and the video to uh, and come to its well, yeah, to, to end. So we're done with this for now. We'll be working roof itself. We gathered up a few materials and the ground floor as well. We got how to make that blackstone brick. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the research. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get there. So I'm gonna ask you, dear viewers, to do the usings. Hit the follow button, on the subscribe on the YouTube to be notified when I next upload a video or have a uploaded latest stream to YouTube, <laughs> and all of the other good things. Check out the Discord community, and that will do me. So I will see you next time for the next stream or in my next YouTube video that I'm back. I want to get uploaded. It's going to probably hold me. Uh, it's going to cut into my gaming time. Uh, uh, but it's late. Well, it is It is a late video. It should have been uploaded weeks ago. Weeks ago. But yeah. Watch out for a new Yu-Gi-Oh video. Basically another using I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to post it or whether upl get the upload started. We'll see, we'll see. Now anyway, I'll see you next time. I'm out.